All right, what's up guys? Jared from The Vinyl Corner, and today Connor and I are checking out Double Decker Records here in Allentown, so let's go check it out. What's up guys? We just got back from Double Decker, as you saw from that lovely intro. Uh, picked up a shit ton of great stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll leave it to you to talk a little bit about how you felt yeah. about Double Decker. So, like, I, a lot of the record stores down in uh, Canadia just uh, aren't it, really. And, the, like, I'm, I'm mostly focusing on, like, hip-hop stuff right now, trying to get my, that collection going. And uh, just the selection down there ain't nothing. So, I was pleasantly surprised about Double Decker today. That shit was crazy, honestly. Yeah, that's definitely like one of the best record stores we've got around here. I mean, we've been there before, but I do not remember that like much of a selection of hip hop stuff. No, yeah, they've definitely been improving all their sections over the years. So, yeah, um, I guess if you want to start. Yes, yeah, so you want to go one for one? Yeah, I guess we can we'll do just we'll swap one. back and forth. Hi. This one, a uh, little neutral milk hotel action. It's like, uh, you know, it's, it's just a classic in my opinion. I didn't have it. This isn't a hip hop album. I know I just said I'm collecting hip hop albums, but I needed it. It was cheap. It was cheap it and was you needed it. I needed it. You needed it. I exactly. It. So I guess the first thing I'll show off, Connor actually showed this to me, and uh, this is Logie's Lo and Behold. Um, we literally just saw Logi the other day during the Pink Sifu show, so for me to roll up to Double Decker and see this was pretty awesome. And this is the Fat Beats exclusive, so this comes on a beautiful clear and black pinwheel over here, and they were limited to 100 copies. So, yes. yeah, obviously super surprised to see that this was sitting there. Uh, it had been there apparently since July, so... Um, I, it was my lucky day, I guess. Yeah, that's, that was a big surprise. Yeah, I definitely was not expecting to see that. All right, so next up I got the Black Noise Oblivion album. So I was kind of like amazed that it was even there in the first place. I had no idea this got printed. I, I, I don't know. This is a Looper's track on this, Bonnie and Clyde. Makes me uh, a little damp, a little damp on the inside. Yeah, again, just super cool to see like this kind of more underground stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, I just, place like that, that is stuff that we'll just never get. We get like the Drake shit and we get the, the Kanye stuff, but stuff yeah. like that I don't see ever. So next up, I got this Mark Fry record. Uh, this is called Dreaming with Alice. This is a really cool like psychedelic folk record. Uh, originals are very, very expensive. And um, yeah, they just reissued this recently on um, another label and it was like this triple LP that had a bunch of extra stuff on it, but uh, I missed out on that. So I saw this there. Uh, this is a 2007 reissue on Sunbeam. And yeah, apparently these are super quality, so I was Super stoked to get this and not have to pay a hundred dollars for the other version of the reissue. So can't beat that. And next up, couldn't pass this one up. The Denzel Curry Imperials. I, I mean, I've seen it a bunch, but you know, when you see it used for twenty bucks, you got to take it home with you. Then I guess we both got yeah. this, so we could probably just show this together. Um, they had these <laughs> Eternal to Take Deluxes or Uzi vs the World Two uh, unofficial pressings. Now this is the full thing, so it's eternal to take, and then you get Uzi vs. the World 2, and they're, yeah, it's crazy. So this is a triple vinyl set. I believe all of them are the same. They're like color, like clearish, kind of. But yeah, again, this is one of my favorite trap records in recent memory, and just to see it out and about and see two copies of yeah. it in the same place was pretty cool. So yeah, same as these. Like this is this is one of my favorites the last couple of years, and like. It, it really helps to not have to pay like the $60 for shipping that it would have been to like mail this to my house. So next up, I got this Frank Ocean uh, Unreleased Volume 3. Now, um, I have the other two volumes, so I was super stoked to uh, find the third volume. And again, it's a double LP. They're both on clear, so I'm not going to show you because it's pretty standard. But yeah, I mean, you guys know Frank Ocean, uh, legend. All of his unreleased stuff is definitely worth checking out if you're into that kind of stuff. 
Um, and like I said, this is the only one I didn't have out of the trilogy of unreleased compilations. So I was very, very excited to see that in there. There's a beautiful collection of music right there. Absolutely. This is a really fun one. This is a Psych reissue. This is on Roulette Records. I believe this came out in like 2011. Uh, but this is The Fallen Angels. This is, if I remember right, uh, this is an Israeli uh, psychedelic record. And originals are like impossible to find. So yeah, very cool. Uh, super stoked to find a copy of this. And I believe it's just on black vinyl. Yeah, it's just on black vinyl. But again, for seeing a copy, 25 bucks used for a nice reissue, can't pass up on that. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I was so stoked to find this. <laughs> so this is um, Andrew Belling's soundtrack for uh, Ralph Boschke's Wizards, which if you guys know anything about this movie, it is f insane movie. Um, really crazy animation, a lot of it having to be extremely uh, fantasy oriented and a lot of erotic uh, imagery all over uh, in the movie. But yeah, super crazy uh, movie and the soundtrack is like really cool spacey jazz fusion kind of stuff. Uh, kind of along the same lines as like a fantastic planet. But yeah, super stoked to find this. Again, this was like a 2017 reissue, but uh, they had it for under Discogs value. And again, this is just something you're not gonna see, so. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah, I was super stoked Classic. to find that. Classic. Classic right there. So uh, leaving it off with this, this is a 2020 reissue of Flyed Eggs Goodbye. Um, obviously, uh, again, originals of these are like thousands of dollars at this point. Um, they came out on Vertigo only in Japan during the early 70s. It went really under the radar. So it's one of those things I've kind of brushed it out of my mind that I'll ever find an original. But yeah, found this sealed Vertigo Japanese reissue. So I figured that this would probably be the way to go with it. Um, and yeah, it's got a nice gatefold in here and the way that they fold the obi so it stays in place is really cool It's also got a nice texture sleeve going on, but yeah again Japanese press It's got that beautiful iconic vertigo label on it that we all know and love So yeah was super stoked to see this hanging on the wall. It was uh, Sealed technically when I opened it. So yeah super stoked with that as well Classic classic <laughs> So that was both of our hauls from Double Decker. As always, have a great time at Double Decker anytime I go, and it was cool to be able to bring Connor and see him get a bunch of cool stuff he wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. So What a, what a selection. Yeah, what absolutely. Selection. Next time he's up, we'll definitely be filming another video. Yeah, there. for so, sure. That was the hauls, guys. Let me know and let Connor know down below what your favorite things were. And while you're in those comments, hit that description, check out all those links, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out a video at the end of this one. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.